Welcome back. Now, today we're going to interview uh, John Ames, who ran an art gallery up in Maine and is now a retired ex art gallery owner and also a photographer who spends a lot of time on the streets of Boston with his camera. And uh, w one of the focuses I want to have in this blog is not just what to do with pictures that you have, but what do you take pictures of? And John is going to sort of, we're going to talk through what kind of pictures he takes in Boston and why. So what motivates you to go out there and shoot? Retirement. <laughs> so I took up what's generically called street photography. Street photography is a very broad subject, but basically it has to do with capturing the passers-by, the environment. They're not posed. Uh, and many times they're not perfect pictures, but they, they tell a story of either a person or an area that might be interested to people. So I started this blog called Frog Pond Journal. And I use a camera, a very small camera, really quite powerful, it's called a Ryko. And I can take pictures of people on the street that have no idea I'm taking them. So there is the ability to take, for lack of a better word, I guess, sneaky pictures. Walking around with John, it's like he's a sniper, you know? These people don't have no idea. Once in a while you see somebody turn around and say, what, what's that all about? Who's boom, that guy? boom, boom, <laughs> boom. Yeah, you can. Yeah. One of the best areas in Boston near where we are is Winter Street going down to Downtown Crossing because there's a ton of people flowing back and forth. And to be honest, I started off taking a lot of pictures of derelicts. People passed out on the street, people talking to themselves, people in difficulty. And there's a lot of that in Boston. If you look for it, you'll find it everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it began, it began to wear on me. And did you find that, that there was a sort of an ethical struggle that you had? Like, did you feel like you were sort of exploiting them at all? Yes, you do, you do especially people that, that are not fully compass themselves. So I, I guess my question about sort of privacy issues. You see those photographs a lot, and, and I'm wondering if you even got permission to take somebody's picture like that. If you say they're not really all together there, does that even count, you know? If well, legally, and this is just from a legal standpoint, any, any picture taken in a public place is legal. So that's when you need when you need uh, clearances is when you're not on public. When, when you're not on public or when you want to um, make money from the photograph. Right. I've become more interested in black and white photography versus color. It's much harder to take a good picture in black and white than it is in color at least I find it, is because the composition is much more important and the light and the shading is much more important. So you don't just, uh, after you've taken the shot, you don't just then just no. switch over to black and white? Because they, when they used to colorize those movies, yeah. you know, the Turner movies were all colorized. Yeah. Um, They're awful. The, the people like Woody Allen that deliberately shot in black and white said, I, no, I've shot this in black and white. Yeah, yeah. You're going to ruin my movie yeah. by adding color to yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. If you take the, the perfect picture and you feel like, I, I'm not going to touch it. I'm just, that's the picture. Do you, how often do you have that picture? And just, uh, with me? Yeah. Yeah, almost never. <laughs> same here, the same. Never. I go on my phone, I go to like those, those ridiculous filters. Yeah, Like sure. Vivid or whatever. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. much better. Than yeah, oh, yeah, like. definitely. John and Sarah's art gallery, there were a lot of photographers featured, and most of that photography was not people, as no. I recall. It was mostly landscape. landscape. Or... People, no. People are hard to take pictures of. But near us, there's the Boston Public Garden. I mean, that is the place if you want to take a good landscape picture. And you can spend a lot of time, you know, 
composing trees and water and birds and but that's that. kind of been done it's but. been done a million times right right in Boston, there's something called Spare Change News, yeah. and they raise money for the homeless. And there's a man whose beat is uh, Winter Street. I got to know him. I've gotten some good pictures of him, and I know he's now in the hospital getting his hip replaced. I really got quite a good picture of him, and I had it printed, and I gave it to him. and. He was just overcome. It was wonderful. There's a lady who always sits very quietly by herself, alone on a bench, and she never moves, and she's there all the time. Thank you for coming in. Oh, uh, my it was pleasure. Really interesting. I, I loved it. And uh, thank you for watching and uh, sign up below. Join our Facebook group, yada, 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 and we'll see you next week. Thank you.